Hello, YouTubers, and yes, I am back, and I am okay, in case some of you probably were wondering why I haven't made videos in a little while. Well, let's say I'm very busy, very busy with multiple things besides redoing my room, as you can see here, and the workshop, which you'll see in the video, but I've been busy with other stuff, too, and just haven't been feeling like making videos, but... Today, I gotta show you my new and updated intercom system that I've done. I also redid the phone system too. But before that, this happened to me very unexpectedly, but I actually went on offer up. And guess what, guys? I'm getting another speaker made by me. That's basically Muzak with Quam, the Quam Professional Series. And guess what? I'm actually going to meet up with this person, hopefully, this coming Wednesday. I just want really one, but I actually getting a good deal, 8 bucks for a Muzak speaker. And I want to put it right where they see the smoke detector that I changed, which I'll, up show, I'll show you a, a video. I'll do a video on a, this alarm system. Sorry about the stuttering, just going to talk to her a second. I know I have this Atlas speaker here already, but I want another one right here. I just tie it off of this 4J. Now, this amp is very flexible. This is the new amplifier that I put in here. It's a Toa integrated amplifier. The model is BG120. It looks exactly like the one in the workshop, except that one's a BG, I believe 0060 or so, 160. I'm going to show you the model and you're going to get in the workshop. Don't know it off the top of my head, but... And the nice thing about this amp is it does not get extremely hot. It's lukewarm, but it has a little cooling fan in there, which is pretty ideal. And also, one major change for this whole system is whenever I play music or whatever on the system... It'll get interrupted when I page, which is nice. Because that's what I've been wanting for a long time already. Like if, I don't know if you ever noticed when you go to like retail stores, they have background music and then the music gets interrupted. Yep, I do. I have that here now too. I still have the tone generator. Yes, I got tone generator put into that PBX, which is external. It's all hidden in that cabinet with three relays. So, expect to see a video on this, I'm going to say in probably a couple months. Because I'm going to start spreading it out. I'm going to turn the TV on for you guys. Because I got this. Hook the TV. It's on my cable. There's a free advertising. For the annual election period. Find out if you qualify today. Yep. See if there are it's on the TV. Premiums in your area. Free advertising too, by the way. 800-378. And I can interrupt it. There is someone on aisle 64 having problems. Once again, there is someone on aisle 64 having problems. We need store associates over immediately. Thank you. Page. No deductibles or zero dollar premium. Yeah, this, this is TV. In fact, I think I have the horn on in the porch too. So hold me. 800-378-3293. That's 800 Yeah, this is the TV in here too, just so you know. With Medicare Advantage, there may be plans that cover now, dental, prescriptions, and more. And some... So... As you can see, I redid my workshop, but also when I redid the workshop, I also rearranged a lot of these speakers. As you can remember, I put this bogan horn in the corner there, but I wanted it here now. This is actually at 1.5 watts, and it's pretty, I can still hear it pretty well off for 1.5. I used to have a set to 7.5 watts. Here's my old Quam speaker. This is also a professional series. Driver, which is what those Muzak speakers use too. And I have to say many great things about those professional series drivers. They sound really good with bass. Simplex, Bogan. This camera just doesn't want to focus today. Here's my old Atlas APF 15. 
porn. It will, it's not a 15T, it's an 8 ohm version, but what I had to do is I put an 8 watt transformer on it, so it's pretty good with that now. There's my Atlas speaker here. This was the yellow P900 from the lot, in case some of you are wondering. I actually restored its original color as I made a video about this probably two years ago with Salon Care 40 cream. I left this sitting outside for like probably a couple days. It was extremely yellowed and it turned from that to like an off-white color. Basically the same color as a Rowland speaker. The same exact color. I rearranged all these. I left these two in place, that in place, and these two in place. I actually tapped this at 2 watts. <laughs> it's pretty loud. It. I have to say, when Lowell means heard everywhere, they literally mean heard everywhere, even for 2 watts. It's almost like it's on 4 watts. And same with this one, too. It's also Lowell. So. I don't know if I'll get copyright for this, but I'll take the risk. Okay, well, Open the garage, take it to the porch. This is a TV, just so you know. That's the TV from in there. I don't know if you can see. TV sounds good on those horns, let's see that. You don't see that every day. I'm out of down. I am interrupting what's going on with the system now. Once again, I am interrupting. So, it's entertainment time, everyone, at the store. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Nor telephones interrupting music. You just came from over there. So let me turn that off now before I start blasting personal information. I saw you come from out of the building. So. Yes, I did. Sorry for that. Turn that off. By the way, it's the Justice Channel, in case you were wondering. My nice street light floor here. Now, unfortunately, I lost four speakers rearranging the room. So, I might end up putting one of them here. So, I don't know. I haven't thought about it all the way through yet, but I will. I For sure, the, floor, the Muzak is going right here. I know I have this pretty close and that close, but I don't really care. These two were also 8 ohm horns. I had to get special transformers for these to... Make them work with this amp. So I got 8 watt transformers off of Amazon for pretty reasonable, for a reasonable price from PartsExpress.com. Apparently, Parts Express is also on Amazon too. If you need parts, highly recommend it. Pretty reliable. So let's start playing some music here. So yeah, here it is. I don't know, it might should be able to open the window here. Shut the ass up. This is Arizona. signal light too. This is tap to 70 volts as well in case you're wondering. This still not very loud. This is also 70 volts. This is where the old Guam used to be. Going in here.
here too. So here's the amp model if you, in case you're wondering. Great for beginners, let's say that. But obviously I'm advancing through this pretty easily. control for the horn in case some of you are wondering. That's how I control the volume and I can shut it off when I'm not using it. So I don't make my neighbors mad. But I'm sure they love me for doing this. This one's a little bit distorted because it's an old diaphragm driver, but it still does the job. I'm gonna shut this. I just hand, manually close my door because there's a, has a buckling issue, as you can see. Sounds pretty good. That's just a horn in the porch there. I would like to put one on right there, but fortunately, I don't think I could do that because of the HOA here. This is a test check. Once again, this is a test check. This one sounds very good. Once again, it sounds good. And cash out here on these coins. Once again, cash out here on these coins. Thank you. There it is, right there. And you heard it interrupt the music. I got it on that amp too. schools, not on homes, but here you do. Those are not common to be seen on most most places but schools, in case you're wondering. They're common around all the elementary schools around here. Some of you may, if some of you have these amps too, but I didn't find a sound until I looked looked closely at a a manual that I found on the internet. But this amp has the muting feature. That's how these amps are muting. They're independent from each other. So there's two terminals in the back of this amp, and if you short the two out together or put a switch across and turn the switch on. That's how the mute feature happens. So you could basically, I could hook this straight up to my Nortel Meridian PBX in there because it has a little relay. Which I believe on the Amphenol cable is a purple and orange, orange purple wire. But I had to hook three relays up so I have to have a secondary voltage to activate this amp, the other amp, and the tone generator at the same time. They all happen at the same time, but they're all independent from each other in a way. So right here I have my mic, and right here is my telephone. How I used to have my intercom system was, I would have to have the computer on in order for this to happen. And it would only work on the computer, but as you saw, I could interrupt any sound like my TV for instance. So what I have going on here, I used to only use this knob, and this knob used to control the whole thing. But now I have the telephone, which is the tone, and then I got a microphone, which is in charge of the phones. I have to say, this microphone is very touchy, that's why I have it barely turned up. I'll turn it up slightly more, and I'll demonstrate to you guys that in the porch. It 
It's probably gonna pick up feedback all the way from over there, yes. You literally can do that. That's why I have to stand as far away from here as much as possible. Cause you gotta keep in mind, this is a horn. Horns pick up microphone feedback real easily. I'll demonstrate to you guys how loud it got, how much louder it is. The page might be distorted, by the way. Is he here? It's a lot louder, and he can even hear my voice. And then my, it's not that close. As you heard, as you heard, that's how touchy that is. That's perfect when when these are independent on the independent amp. But so yeah, this is how the system works. Go out is up just it. So yeah, it will work up in here too. Also control from right here too, but this is just the volume for the computer. It works with CD player, VCR, and that. So, in any case, I highly recommend one of these little switch here, video audio switch. It's cheap Chinese stuff, but it still works. It switches between devices. How you do it. It's like a little push button switch. One pushes out, the other pushes in. So yeah. And one other thing I want to show you here is this PBX has service to it now. It actually has a phone service. Line six. I have Google Voice now, you guys. I tried to run a landline in here, but this is all what's been up around here. In case some of you are wondering why I haven't made videos in so long, well, this is it. Another intercom system update video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll try to keep up with what I'll try to keep up with the videos but it's just kind of hard what I'm doing right now hey mate I don't know I'm not gonna give you an estimate of what next time I'll make a video it's just whenever just basically expect a video when you see it pop up on your screens on your recommended or my channel icon and if you want to be sure to stay up to date my videos turn on those notification icons I know I'm, I'm sounding like all the other ones, but let's just say I'll turn it on and stay tuned for more whenever, whenever it comes.